Yeah, it's a person that goes around and murders people. Someone that targets specific people for their murdering pleasure. A serial killer is, to me, a killer that repeatedly is killing. It's something to do with a person who does a sequence of murders, not just one, like a bunch, several. Someone who kills the same kind of person and looks for similarities between the people they kill. No, luckily I don't. If you count Santa Claus, because, you know, he breaks into everyone's house and you don't know if he's going to leave, like, toys with arsenic on them or something. I know some future serial killers. Won't say any names. <coughs> Andrew Hart. <coughs> Personally, no. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like, there's been a few that I know, like, Ted Bundy, um, the Zodiac. They still haven't caught him, I don't think. I don't know, I'm kind of thinking, like, probably something, like, super, like, super elaborate, like, where just no one can figure out what the hell is going on, and, like, make it be, like, someone died, who the hell did, and, like, there's literally, like, no clues anywhere, there's pretty much no chance of me getting caught. I would hope I'd never be one. Mine said I can't even comprehend what it would be like to be one, I would hope that if I was, somebody would catch me and put me out of my misery. I would take the knife, stab him, run away, hide in a very specific spot. No one find it. I, I, can't, I can't think of any specific moments like that. I would start by taking the person into my car, and I would um, get them talking and distract them with maybe an interview or something. Well, they didn't notice that I was slowly getting a rag with chloroform in it ready to knock them out afterwards. Where am I? We're not done yet. Finish the interview or I'll cut you in half. Okay, okay, man. Oh, uh, okay, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll finish the interview. Just please don't kill me. But you broke my legs. Do it now. They have different processes. It really all depends on their psychological, what goes up on their brain. They choose who they're going to kill uh, or just what kind of person and then look for somebody like that. From statistics or anything in society, it just seems like they've had something that'll trigger a reaction and then they react to it in that case, how it can be varies in each situation. They pick their target. And then they cover their tracks, then they perform the act of murder, sexual things. With dead bodies. Jack the Ripper found random people and he would like tell the police who like how many people he was gonna kill each day, but they had to maybe be blondes or be a couple and he would have to find a couple on the streets. I know the solid basics that it's someone who goes in a sequence of murders. And I'm not 100% certain if there's like a, um, if there's a time connector or if there's a particular reason for it. I'd be like, please, please no murder. I don't want murder. Please no. I wouldn't want to talk to him. I would probably just say hello. <laughs> Um, I would say, probably like I'm doing right now, I, I couldn't, what, what do you say to a serial killer? If someone comes up to you and says, hey, I'm a serial killer, what, what do you say to them? What, what can you say that's right to say? I would ask them if they've ever played Sonic the Hedgehog. That's it.
I think there should be. After like your sentence is done, how do you know like they're gonna do it again? I believe there should be the harshest punishment possible for serial killers. I, I, I believe the current punishment right now isn't it just like a life, it's a life sentence, isn't it? Perverse it, right. So, I honestly think that's not bad in itself. No one should die for the thing. That's, no one deserves to die. I don't, I, I'm, I'm stating by that, that fact. And, uh, so, and for, yeah, pretty much like what it's like now, it's, I'd keep it that way. It's pretty solid. I would change it. I think it should be about, like, however long the person would have been expected to live before you kill him. Like, if you kill an 80-year-old, he didn't have much time left, so maybe, like, five years in prison anyways. If you kill a kid, sure, like, a life sentence. I'm sorry, what? I finished the interview, what more do you want? This is the director's cut. Oh, <laughs>